Right. Hi there. Now where's Hi Hayley? There. Where are the other two now? They'll come. Give them a minute. I'm am late. They were waiting for you, so I don't know why they're not. Well, they may have to try to come in again. Send them a note and tell them to try to come in again because okay. sometimes it doesn't work if I'm not. I'm glad you know how to reach me. Yeah. There we go. There's Yvonne. And of course, I need to take a break and go to the bathroom. Oops, she fell. Ah, there, honey, buddy. Hello, finally got through. <laughs> well, that's worry. because I wasn't there. Ah, that's cool. At least at least I know it wasn't something wrong with me. Nothing <laughs> Are you well? I wasn't there. I forgot. And I'm just sitting. Here's my cute niece with her little baby. Can't see. It's just white. I know. I'm trying to get there. Uh, She's in a bikini. I see. Uh, so that is your niece. Uh-huh. And the baby's in the tummy. She sure is. He sure uh, is the boy. How sweet. how sweet, sweet, sweet. Isn't that sweet? What a beautiful baby picture. Amen. Amen. I just love baby uh, pictures. Like Haley's coming on. Yes. I'm going to go. I'm going to go off video just now because it, it will work better. I'm I'm on my my mobile data, so. Okay, baby. I saved I saved up so I could at least do one meeting. <laughs> Because my uncapped is during the day only. Yeah. I'm sitting here. Hey, uh, and semi Miss Haley, semi and my, my camera. Are you there? Kaylee's muted. Kaylee is um, muted. Unmute yourself, girl. Hey, Leslie, sorry, I've got a few things to just do quickly while I'm... That's all right, um, I understand. I also... Hello, everybody. Is everyone good? Uh, yeah, I can't mm -hmm. have my camera on either because I need a new computer. So everybody pray, I need a new computer. <coughs> okay. Okay. Ships, you're on, uh, I'm, it's in your I'm uh, lying in down and relaxing, so I'm going to not do the video at this time at all yeah. yeah i'm gonna come off too but anyway oh. nice to hear your voice Haley. Yes. i didn't ask it, about you today because i didn't know what had happened it was me <laughs> it was me i was in another zoom meeting i have not my rear end has been sitting here since nine o'clock so two hours and now i'm going to go mm -hmm. two more hours so i'm going to have to take a break shane is oh. going to get here in just a minute can you Haley? Uh, let her in if I make you co-host. All you have uh, to you can. Click, all you have to do is click on the red button when she comes. Uh, okay, in. that's easy enough. Not a problem. Yeah. So and and just tell her I had to go to the bathroom and get a drink and walk around for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be right back. Cool. Oh my. Hello, God. Yvonne. It's lovely to see uh, you again. Oh, How are you Haley. keeping? It's been a long time, my sweetie. Well, I don't know if you know what happened. I'm I'm kind of stuck. I'll just put the video on for a moment so that you can okay. see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm here in a in a recliner. I've been here since the 23rd of December and glued basically to this thing. I haven't been able to even go to the toilet because I fractured my my femur. So I didn't go to hospital. Um hanging in there with the Lord. So that's that's what's happened to me. That's how I am. <laughs> and how are you? 
How are you? Okay. And uh, sorry to hear about that, Yvonne. That's very serious. Are you you're not in pain? Are you in pain at all? I was in almost zero pain. And then the, they persuaded me to go for an x-ray because I just said it can't be a fracture because there's no bruising. There's no, you know, there was no actual swelling. You could see the, yep. the hip was slightly out further than the other one. But uh -huh. um, I didn't, I just, from, from the, the time I fell, to me, it was miraculous anyway, because I fell down two steps flat on my, on my front, you know? So I, the only thing I felt was my tooth hitting the floor. I have oh, the sticking okay. out teeth that I don't like, and the tooth broke, a, a, a tip of it, a corner of it broke, and nothing else, not, not a scratch to my face, not a scratch to my lips, sure. just the tooth. Then when I was on the floor, I found I couldn't move the leg. So oh. we managed to get onto this recliner, which is where Franco was when he came out of his um, yes. ICU. A, a neighbor had lent it to him, and I kept hoping he would take it away, but it was right here. And if it oh, hadn't good. been for this, I would have had to go to the hospital. So he got me here and I just refused to go because I said, no, this, this cannot be. God has given me a promise. I, I know that if I go to the hospital, they see it as a death sentence. They can't do surgery on me in, in the condition I'm in at the moment. So um, there's a whole lot of other, you know, things that get in the way. So I just opted to, to stay here and I've been here ever since. But they persuaded me to go for an x-ray. Uh, the physio and, and my hubby um, yeah. about, three, about three weeks ago. And since then, I've had pain. But before that, I had got, I mean, I had pain the first week and a half. Uh, I had to be very, very careful. But then it got better and better. And I was pretty mobile. And uh, yeah, um, it was it was probably, I don't know, uh, maybe it's a good thing, because at least I know I know what it is. But I was actually mm -hmm. happier not knowing what it was because, you know, sometimes when you have a picture of, of a break, then that's what you see. And I don't want to see yes. that. Yeah. Yes. Because God I'm has given what? me a promise. He promised me he'd heal me outside and inside. So that's what I'm hanging on to. And that's why I'm still here. And Franco has been a brick. He's really been able to, to help me. I have the best hospital food ever here. Oh, that's but, yeah, awesome, it's, Yvonne. It's sure. very frustrating to not be able huh? to do anything for myself and be stuck, that I can't even go to the toilet myself, can't stand up by myself. But uh, you know what? Uh, if this is what it will take, then we'll, this is what it will take. Sure. Yeah, sure. That's a... Uh, okay, now tell me your adventures. Quite <laughs> interesting. Is Frank, how's Franco doing after... I mean, that was already more than a year a year ago. Yeah, he's he's doing very well. He gets tired, which he didn't used to before. Uh, so at night, sometimes I can see he's really exhausted, and you know, it takes a bit of strain with me being here. Yes. But um, yeah, he's still he's doing everything because we lost our manager, our farm manager. So he's doing everything himself, and he keeps himself young that way. And yeah. you wouldn't tell he has a, he's had an accident, and you wouldn't sure. be able to tell that he's only got one artery to the brain. But sure. yeah, he says he does he does feel the difference. But he's Goodness. he's been good. Oh, well, I'm very I'm happy to really hear that. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that, Yvonne. That's really great. That's awesome. Um, I'm God doing well. Tell, yeah. tell us your adventures. His process is not. His processes are very different to what we would choose or what we would um, oh, tell me. naturally, naturally um, understand or even be able to comprehend in many respects. I I'm really well. I've um, well, I've I've literally been at home now for 16 months after leaving my last employment, um, knowing it was God's design. Was it and process. No, you went to the UK. I did. I went to the UK in November and December. That was absolutely, actually, Yvonne, it was, had I actually known up front the type of, um, the way it was going to work out, I'm glad that you don't know the things. I'm glad it's good. I had an absolute ball. Um, I was confronted on a daily basis by both the demonic and the angelic on a literally weekly basis. I experienced um, lots and lots of very in your face, um, very straightforward, very specific. God, God was, the Holy Spirit was amazing. Um, I encountered 
straightforward darkness at my um, brother's home with my niece in witchcraft, literally studying to become a witch, which oh. we I had not known. I'd found that out within a day or two of being there. And after that, obviously, the Lord said to me, well, you are for a holiday, but actually, this is why you're there. So to be perfectly honest with you, Yvonne, it was an incredible experience. Um, I, I'm going to tell you that when I was collected by a friend when I came home four weeks later, she said to me at the airport, you look absolutely terrible. Um, I, she said, you look like you age. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It was an amazing trip. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't, I don't regret anything. I just will tell you that it was in terms of reality in my life. I, I have photos of myself in Wales where there are green orbs, literally green orbs yeah. on the photo that was not in the natural and God said to me and that happened all the way through my trip um, I went to a hotel there were green orbs everywhere my brother actually thought it was his camera because he had this very fancy new phone kept making adjustments and to be honest I had a, an incredible pretty much a, a real understanding um, of the angelic um, all the way through and I had a as equal real understanding of the demonic um, literally from the day I landed, um, all hell broke loose, uh, 24 hours after I got to my brothers, literally all hell broke loose in their house. Um, it was amazing to see the actual clash of light and darkness in the real, in actual yeah. manifestation in the real. Um, I saw God provide the opportunity to become a bridge to reach and connect with my niece and my brother very supernatural um i was treated like a queen i got to see everything i wanted to see i had an incredible encounter in scotland and edinburgh on the patio in minus two in the morning um so to be to to really be honest with you yvonne it was a real experience to understand that light is greater than darkness light but there is darkness and there is light and we don't live in a world of um, perfection um, and that we still wage war and that I am seated in heavenly places and it was probably the most real encounter to understand my position in Christ and that I operate from heavenly realms and that, well, that's what he said when I got back, because it took me three weeks to, Yvonne, it took me three weeks to literally debrief, if you want my honest opinion, because it was so real and so in my face, and it was so overwhelming at times, that he literally said, this is the life of, this is heaven on earth, this is it. It's, he actually said wow. to me, Yvonne, it's like a railway track. On the left of the track is the demonic and the darkness. And on the right-hand side is my light. There's no contention. I've won. You have the authority. But as you run your life, you're going to see both. You are going to encounter both all the time. But it mustn't throw you. It's okay. Um, and I got to see the reality of the kingdom we walk in. I mean, literally, I, when I got to, Sp um, to Spain in the, in the villa that I stayed in, I opened the drawer to put my clothes in and there was a crystal ball in the drawer and in the crystal ball is an angel. It's, um, it's a very expensive Venetian glass little thing. So I said to my yeah. sister in law, cause it's their house. I said, where did this come from? She said, I've never seen it in my life. I've never seen it. Wow. I don't know whose that is. I don't know who it belongs to. This is not ours. No one has stayed in that room. So every step of the way, Von, I saw how God had literally prepared in a physical manifestation, literally prepared that he had already been there. So, and that happened every day, all day, the whole day. Um, so, um, Scotland for me was probably the most incredible thing, Yvonne. Interceding for Scotland on a patio in minus two, crying for a nation that I don't know, weeping my eyeballs out with the the snow practically falling, the mist, the whole bank shoot at about, yeah, it was about five in the morning, four in the morning, five. 
getting up off the floor of the patio, which was in the city of Edinburgh, and seeing a flock of doves fly by the patio to the degree when they literally were so close, I, I, they, I could feel their wings, physical doves. And God said, okay, now portal's been opened. The dove of peace is here. You can carry on. And that, that was it. Oh. I, I'm taking up time. I went to a museum. I went to a museum. I, God had given me a long winter coat that looked very African with gold and red. And the curator of the museum came right over to me. Well, I thought she was the create, cru, curator. Straight up to me, a massive museum with all these people go around. She walked up to me and she said, you are anointed. And wow. you are here in my country. She was Scottish. And you were sent by God. And that is exactly wow. how my trip was for four weeks. From the first day to the last day. Wow. You actually don't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. Um, I could have stayed in my room and cried with the demonic that I saw and the stuff that went on and the hell that broke loose. Or I could have literally stayed in my seat of rest, which is what I managed to do more often than not. But um, it gave me a very different glimpse. You know, we in the old school, we all say, God, send me. Here I am, send me. I read Isaiah oh. today. I actually read Isaiah 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And in the good old days, I say, oh, here I am, God. Yvonne, it was like God was saying to me, this is actually the walk. Get rid of the romanticism. Get rid of all the other paraphernalia. This is the reality of what Paul faced, Peter faced, we faced. And is this okay with you? Is This is what it will be like if you agree and I send you. This is it. I will need you to be very aware of, 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 this, of what I call you to. And um, not to shrink back in that regard. So um, that's my introduction, Yvonne. I'm sorry, I've taken up a bit of time on the call. Oh, but I didn't know any of that. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. you yeah. take up the time, Haley. We need to hear. Yes. Mm. Mm. Well, in, yeah. Um, so it, it was an amazing and dynamic and wonderful. And God did some supernatural things. I mean, I can tell you that my trip there wasn't a holiday. It was an assignment. It was intentional. And what took place there was, cat was a catalyst to do what is happening now. Because my niece has, is in a psychiatric ward. She tried to take her life twice in the last two weeks. And I, God literally has given me an opportunity based upon what happened in November and December. Literally said, this is why you went. So that my brother would reach out. And then God would be able to provide a link in the spirit towards my brother and my niece. And it is, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to say this now. For God has anointed us. For the spirit of the Lord is on us. For he has anointed us to preach the good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to open prison doors, and to set the captives free. And it is for the saving of a nation. Isaiah 49, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9. For Jacob, is it too light a thing for you that you should be called and anointed, Jacob slash Israel, to renew the desolate places, this is Isaiah 49, to repair the ancient ruins and to be important in the generations to come. I'm going to say this to you, that there is a marked, very important calling uh, sure that sounds so old charismatic requirement in our lives for the generations that are going to come out of our lives yeah. i am telling you this i'm sorry i'm going to finish with this there is a baton mm -hmm. a relay baton that god has given us as gatekeepers and anointed women in our families and i'm telling you i'm speaking to every one of us on this call today that we have to run our race with the understanding that what we pass on is not a baton, it is a scroll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are passing on the scroll of legacy and intent to the next generation. And some of those are not even coming out of our own womb. Tamara did not come out of my womb, but I will tell you, she is written into my story and I am written into her story. And that's the one that's that won't it. become a witch. That's, that's yes. the one that won't become a witch. 
Yeah, she's studying Wiccan, casting oh. spells and the whole bank sheet. And that I don't care about that. Because let me tell you, Yvonne, you want to know about the light, then you got to know that you can stand in a room with all the books and all the symbols and you can fear nothing and know that God has got this baby. In mm -hmm. fact, he is enthroned in the heavens and he laughs. Yeah. He laughs, man. You're not under it, you're over it. Oh, like yeah. a bridge over <laughs> troubled waters. I will lay me down. That's the question he said to me. Hello? The call will require uncomfortability, sacrifice, and laying yourself down in love. Will you lay yourself down? Because Jesus did it. He laid himself down upon a cross to bridge the gap between generations. He is still the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And will you be the bridge? And I'm telling you, say yes, baby, because I can see tomorrow. I can feel it. I know it. I've seen a scroll. I have seen a scroll, Yvonne. Tomorrow will do mighty exploits for her God. And she will operate in the powers of the age to come. And therefore, it is worth it. Every last bit of it is worth it. Whatever it takes, I want to see it come in her generation. And How mine, she is 18. She's 18. She 18. turned 18 okay. last week Thursday. And her name is Tamara. Her, to, her name is Tamara Jane. Let me give you another laugh. Tamara means like date tomorrow. palm and palm tree. Date palm and palm tree. And her second name is Jane, which comes from the name Joan, which is rooted in the 1600s in French in Joan of Arc. Yeah. Now take that and party. Her second name is... The woman on which I have based the cloud of witnesses and has had, had interaction with for the last five years. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Come on, I'm finished, well. Shane. I'm come finished. On, well. well, hang on, because um, I'm going to come right in on the end of this because um, my eldest grandson is married to a young woman um, who wants to be a witch. I don't know what all she's gotten into because... She doesn't talk to us. And she, from the moment they got married, separated my grandson from us. So um, she has my two eldest grandchildren, great grandchildren. And, uh, and she told me that Daniel, my grandson, is a pagan. And I had never, you know, it was like a slap in the face because we, you know, we know that he was created for Christ and that he is the one who, uh, you know, we, we played, prayed over him when he was born. He was a home birth and was, you know, we were there together and prayed over him. So um, I'm just going to step in that and decree and declare. So his name is Daniel, I-A-L, not the Bible spelling. And um, Courtney Steele's, is her last name, that she too and Daniel will walk out their inheritance and their mandate, their scroll that God wrote for them before time began, and that they will lead their generation to Christ and that they will lead others out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Okay, I will give you a scripture quick. Good. I'm just going to give you a scripture. I'm going to give you a scripture. The scripture God gave me two weeks ago um, when he said, I, I want you to go in the spirit to tomorrow's hospital and I want you to lie on her like Elisha and Elijah lay on the dead son. But I'm going to tell you what he told me. He said this to me, Psalm 1 City. Psalm 1 City. Is it Psalm 1 City? Just give me, sorry, just give me a moment. Um, it's, it's, it's in the Passion Translation. I'm going to do it in the Passion Translation. Psalm 1 City, verses 7. Just give me a moment. Oh, Israel, keep hoping, keep trusting. 
Mm. Oh, and he spoke to me a lot about Jacob wrestling and changing a name to Israel. So every scripture he gives me, it's got the word Jacob or Israel in. That would be me. Okay. So every one of us, he chooses a Jacob. That's why I said there's lineage. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. I'm Jacob. My granny was Abraham. My mom was Isaac. I'm sitting at the Jacob level. Okay. And that's not labeling or claiming or any of that. I'm telling you that's generational. Oh, yeah. Israel. Oh, Israel or Jacob. Keep hoping, keep trusting, and keep waiting on the Lord, for he is tender-hearted, kind, and forgiving. He has a thousand ways to set you free. And that's what he said to me. Holy, I have a thousand ways to encounter tomorrow. More than you can conceive. More than you can dream up. More than you can even have the capacity to even engage with. I have a thousand ways of setting her free. Beyond your wildest dreams, I can do it. So don't lose heart. And I can do it over my time. He said to me, how long did it take me to work with you? And I said, 18 years. He said, I'm going to do it quicker, but I'm going to tell you, I have a thousand <laughs> ways to set her free. Oh and if beyond your wildest dreams, I have a thousand. So he said to me, I don't want you to lose heart. So what they've done oh, yeah. is on Monday, I received an email from my brother, my sister-in-law, via tomorrow, from tomorrow, saying, I want no contact. I'm cutting you off. I don't want you to WhatsApp me. Please, it's my life. It's my secret. And then I got all disheartened. I shared with Shane this morning. I got my, I got terribly, not hurt. I got offended, and which I got over in 10 minutes. I said, no, I'm not doing that. And that's when he said, don't forget, I have a thousand ways. And what has gone out in the spirit will not return void as per Shane's also agreement. So we do not lose heart. We do not throw away our fearless confidence. Is that Hebrews? Do not fling away your fearless confidence. Do not fling away your fearless confidence. And that is, I am not flinging it away. In fact, I'm gritting down, I'm biting my teeth and we're going to do this thing, baby. Come on. Amen. I received that. Thank you. And the next verse says, he himself will redeem you. He will redeem you from the cruel slavery of your sins. Yay. Okay, the fearless con confidence is Hebrews 10, 35, and 36. Hebrews 10, 35, and 36. Thank you. Fearless confidence. Yeah, fearless. Let me just go there so we don't be not afraid of anything. Hebrews 10, 35, and 36. And this is applies to all of us for all of our lives and in whatever situation. Hebrews 10, 35, and 36. Do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it carries a great <laughs> and glorious compensation of reward. Come on. For you have need of steadfast patience and endurance, so that you may perform and fully accomplish the will of God, and thus receive and carry away what is promised. Yahoo, God. Yahoo. Amen. Steadfast patience and endurance. Thank you. Well, we'll pray for them. Yeah. God will do what he's going to do. It's awesome. I've had a very trying day. Sorry. My power has, my power has been off all day. It's just come on now um, because there's some fault here. And it's been doing it for two days, two to three days. So my poor uh, um, fridge, you know, my washing machine's playing up. It doesn't want to work. And now my Wi-Fi is broken. So I had to buy data. Oh. It's costing me this data. It costs a fortune. So on top of my Wi-Fi, oh, at what, seven, eight hundred rand a month, I'm going to pay for extra data on top of that. It's really hey, Shane. Hey, daughter's it's expensive. Top, you know, my York. current situation, I'm not earning from Sally at the moment. So it's it's very, very tough right now. Anyway. What's happening with your with your um uh, land sales? Nothing your, right your now. Estate no, it's, it's hard. Nothing yet. It's a hard, it's very it hard not situation right now to sell anything. Anyway, um, I've just felt uh, it's just such a 
an onslaught to get people down at the moment. And and I don't mm -hmm. think I've it's just like a heavy, you know, in every direction. Um, and I feel it's because the outpouring is about to start. Oof, yeah, just really, it's it's he's like right. trying to stop it in every way he can, and it's a the the volcano is about to blow. And I really just want to press in for healing, you know, um, for you, Yvonne, for my mom, for Ted, for Corin in in Australia, for myself, because it's debilitating. Mm -hmm. We can't do what we're supposed to be doing because we, we our bodies are worn out. So, and this this needs to break in the spirit. The finances, yeah, Absolutely. they're two those two areas, finances and, um, you know, and healing. Um, Talking to my friend John today, I don't know how that woman has survived. Um, the level of poverty is unbelievable. It's got in fought by deodorant. Um, and I don't know how to help her. And her children scream at her and say, you should be looking after us. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? You can't get work. But, uh, you know, she's the maid. She's the, the, the taxi. She's everything. And must try and find money, you know. So I don't even know what to say. To I just said, you got to take it to Jesus. I can't fix it. Yeah. yeah. The one thing the Lord's been speaking a lot to me about is not to do anything in our own strength, but always ask him. Always. And since I've been doing that, all hell's broken loose. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, he said the same thing with Frank when he came out. He said he has to enter his rest. Don't do anything out of a position of rest. But it's hard to get into that rest and stay there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we try and do things and then ask him to fix it and help. But we actually got to yeah. partner with him from the beginning in everything, which is not how we're yeah. trained in love. Right. It's. It, it's um, and we, we, it's almost like we don't want to bother God with our problems. He's God. Why should he be bothered with right. my little things? Religion. And, um, That's yeah. religion. And yes, yes. We and uh, religion. we'll just get on with it. And if he can just come and fix a few things, you know, we don't want to be a pain in his life. But, um, but he actually wants us to be yoked to him all the time. Relationship. Yeah, anyway. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so we, we're gonna pray for, for the for the infirmity stuff, ladies. Yeah, yeah. My mom also got, yeah. yeah, they haven't had they haven't had power, so I don't think she can get on. Yeah, otherwise she would. Can can I just Shane, read the rest um, of that, that sorry, Shane, sorry. Yeah, they've had a very severe temperatures in, in Durban over in the over the forties. So my mother battles. She can't breathe. Yeah, you know, it's it's really hectic. So shame. I said Ted needs to design a winch to lift her up and put her in the pool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, okay, read it, Haley. Yeah, just this um, scripture here, it's back to Hebrews 10. We all know it's about faith, but this is a really, this is just to set the tone, enter into. In fact, we're going to just use the scripture as the door, because scripture is in fact the invitation mm. and the door. We can enter through the scripture. But our way, yeah. our way, our little tribe right here today, but our way is not of those who are drawing back to misery yeah. or perdition. And we are not utterly destroyed. But we, this is the declaration to kick this off. We, this is my decree. We are of those who believe, who trust, cleave to, and rely upon, lean into God through Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and by faith, preserve our souls. Let's just set that in straight into the atmosphere. That is who is coming to do business today. 
with the father in a close corporation, a CC, those who don't shrink back and are not entering eternal misery in our natural conditions. Amen. Oh, thank you, Father. Let's just pray, Lord. We, we come through Christ into the heavens right now, and we thank you for the blood of Jesus that we can be in relationship with you through through the new covenant yeah. and we don't shrink back and we enter in to that holy place we we don't want to go back into unbelief and situations we want to look to you and look at what you're saying and and stand on your word because your word is more real than what we see with our eyes and by your word, you establish the world and you hold everything together by your word. And we live on every word that comes out of your mouth. Every word you've spoken into our hearts is what we live by. We stand on that today. We stand on your word. And Father, I would, I would issue a challenge in heaven now. And now be cheeky here, Lord, but I'm saying to you, Lord, perform your word. Perform your word. It is the day to perform your word. We take hold of heaven now. We take hold of the of the train of Jesus in the temple. Even as the woman with issue of blood took hold of his garment on earth. And we ooh, we take hold of your train and we, we would say to heaven, perform your word. Let it be done for us according to your word. Let it be done today according to your yes. word. What you, what you have said, what you have said, perform it now. Perform your word, Lord. Lord, none of your words are void. None of them are return to you without completing what they were sent to do. They are like a bird sent out to accomplish something and then goes back. It will never return without finishing its work, without doing completely what it's supposed to do. Oh, re, re, so, Lord, we ask re, re, to, to perform your word now that your word will be complete. The words that we, we have spoken according to, to your direction from you, the truths that you have spoken into our hearts, deeply into us, that, that this is the day for their completion. This is the day that they are done on earth. Let it be done on earth, even as, as it is done in heaven. And as you've declared it in heaven and as we've spoken it, it's declared and it's done in heaven. And we say now, let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let the earth manifest your words now. Let your words, which have been planted as seeds, birth now birth into our lives birth into burst into 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 flame burst into flower burst into fruit and produce that which they which it was sent to do let the fruit manifest now of those words that we have been speaking and sowing and sowing and sowing your word that we have put out, your word that we have spoken, your word, let it not return void. Thank you, Lord, that it's a day of performance. It's a day of the doing. It's a day of the manifest, oh, the manifestation of your, of your glory, the manifestation of our faith. All the things that you've said to us that we have spoken out in faith, in faith believing for years, for years we've been speaking, speaking, speaking the word. Now is the day. Now is the day. And we, <coughs> we call it in now. And now is the day. 
Now is the day of your power. Now is the day of the Lord. Now is the day where we see your word complete, 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 completion come. Completion. Lord, you also said in your word that the, your word never lacks its partner in fulfillment. There's the word goes out and then it is partnered by the fulfillment. If it's not without, if it doesn't have fulfillment, it's like an incomplete pair, like a pair of doves. It, it needs its partner in fulfillment. And you never, you never lack that partner. So, Father, we, we, we decree from heaven the completion of your words. And, Father, the words that we have spoken about healing, where we have prayed for healing, where we have spoken um, over ourselves, over others, where we have declared your word, where they have repented, and we've done everything we know to, to cause healing to manifest. We now say manifest, Lord, manifest your healing. And we would say today, Lord, it's the day of, of the um, tree of life to come back, that the tree of life manifests in us. That you said in your word, Lord, that those who cleanse their garments have access to the tree of life. And we have cleansed our garments. We have changed our garments. We are washed in the blood. We have taken off the filthy garments. We have taken off the past. And we are washed in the blood. So we have access, access to the tree of life. And I speak, release the tree of life, the restoration of life into our bodies that our bodies manifest, manifest in our bodies life. And even, Father, as you breathe the Ruach into the breath of life into Adam and caused him to become a living being, that you would breathe your Ruach into our physical bodies, that you would cause the bodies to resurrect that you would you would breathe in breath of god come breath of god breathe on us breathe on these bodies and cause them to come back to life cause the dead places in our bodies to resurrect cause our bodies to change in your ruach in your spirit <sighs> Breathe on us, Lord. Breathe on us, O oh, breath of God. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, Ruach Oh, Bakiara Bashenda Vasedi. Pour in your spirit. Pour in your spirit. Pour in your spirit. Pour in your spirit. Let the Ruach flow, the breath, the breath, the breath. I speak life, life, life.
Wherever you breathe, Lord, let let whatever is dead come to life. Yes, 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 God. Breathe on us, breathe on us, Rahakadesh. Spirit of the living God. You raise Christ from the dead. Resurrect our bodies now in every area. We every word we've spoken, fulfill it now. It's the time of the fulfillment, the time of the fulfillment. Inside me, O God, till I am fully thine, and make me your image, Lord, for I am Thank you, Father. Have your way. Have your way. We yield, we yield ourselves to you, Lord. As the clay yields to the potter's touch, as we, as the clay yields in your hand, Lord, we yield ourselves to you. We say, yes, God. Knock off our rough edges. Restore us, Lord. Re remove everything that's a hindrance. Thank you. Everything that hinders, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Lord, I just want to thank you for the health that we do have. All the other areas that we're being protected in, that, that um, you, you have looked after and had your hand upon, that Satan hasn't been able to touch us in other areas. But the areas where there is infirmity, where there's a blockage, Mm. I ask right now for for a complete demolishment of that demon. Those demons that have blocked blocked the healing, that have stubbornly set on on us the infirmities, the infirmity that is stubbornly set on and and squatted. In yes. Corin's life, in my mom's life, my yes. life, um, Ted, father, this this demon that's squatting on his eyes, I lose fire on them. I lose fire on the spirit of death and infirmity that has been hampering Corin Horak from doing the what you have called her to do. Yes, father. We loose fire on that demon tonight. We come against it. We cut it up into little pieces. I loose the sword of the Lord against infirmity now. The sword of the Lord against these blocking demons. These, these demons that would, would undercut our strength. I loose the sword of the Lord against him, even as it goes against Leviathan. I release um, heaven to completely obliterate these demons that have stubbornly held on to our health and, and tried to destroy us in our health areas. That today is the day of judgment that you put an arrow through their hearts, that, mm -hmm. that they are, 
they are utterly destroyed. I decree that they are thrown down from their high places, mm. that they are evicted out of the window to the ground, that they are run over by the horses, and their blood is drunk up by the dogs. Mm. I decree they are crushed, crushed under the hooves of the horses today that the horses run over them and they are destroyed and crushed and broken. I, I release that now, that the judgment over them, I release it, Father. Hoba shere it. It occupying force to be removed, forcefully removed by, by your host. That they are removed tied up judged and their heads cut off even as you cut off the heads of leviathan yes and the, their heads are crushed today under the horses who the horses of heaven meet out judgment against the spirits of infirmity the spirits of death the spirits of destruction all illness whatever this illness is that man has called fibromyalgia that is tachyron yes we we say it's infirmity and and that it is judged and it's paid for it doesn't have it has got no right any longer so it we cut its head off and we crush it under the feet of the horses today even as the Lord crushed Leviathan. Yes. And we cut the heads off of all the infection that I, and the issues that I suffer in my body. All the infirmities are, are demolished and pulled down and run over by, by the horses of heaven and crushed. All the, the, um, that, arthritis that attacks Yvonne's body, the problems she has with, with um, internally, Father, that you, every part of her body, every weakness, every weakness that has debilitated her body uh, and every demonic thing that has been camping on there for years, that, that infirmity we lose judgment on them now. We lose judgment. We cut off their heads and we crush them under the hooves of the horses of heaven. I so I lose destruction on them today. I just saw like a head of a, almost like a double-headed snake and we just cut it off now. Don't rear your head against us. We cut you off with the sword of the Lord in the name of Christ Jesus. We stand in Christ and we cut off your head, you foul demon. We cut off every head of blindness that would come against Ted and every uh, attack on my mother's body, heart disease, um, blood pressure issues arthritis, inflammation, um, just general aging. We cut that off because death and aging, that Christ became the curse, so we don't have to be under that curse anymore. That curse is broken. So we speak destruction over those demons today. I lose destruction from heaven, destruction angels on these demons today in the name of Christ Jesus. I'm seeing a river in flood. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. But it's like it's an I'll African it river, but it's flooding. I'll, it's flooding. I'll give it to you. Okay. I'll give it to you. Uh, Ten minutes ago, the Holy Spirit said I must go and read Ezekiel 47. <clears throat> so I'm just going to read it. Right. So we have to declare Ezekiel 47 over, um, over each of these beloved children of God and um, the other one as well from Isaiah. So let me read Ezekiel 47. He said, 
that river is very important because it floods and it breaks yeah. the bank. So oh, I'm just okay. going to read it here. I've got it here. Okay, so um, I'm just going to start here. And it's a double, and wherever the double river shall go. This is verses 9. Really? It's interesting it's a double river. I've never seen that before, but okay. Ezekiel 47 verse 9, and everywhere, everywhere the double river shall go, every living creature which swarms shall live. And there shall be a great number of fish in the water, wherever the water goes. And the water shall be healed and made fresh, and everything shall live wherever this river goes. Verses 12. And on the banks of the river on both sides, and this is the decree over our lives and over the lives of Karen, Tamara, Ted, you, Joy, Yvonne. This is God's intention and his decree. And on the banks of the river on both its sides, they shall grow all kinds of trees for food. Now, this is who we are. This is who we are. Anything else is illegal. This is who we are. These are not trees. These are us. This is us. Their leaf shall not fade, nor shall their fruit fail. Each of them, each tree, shall bring forth new fruit every month. These supernatural qualities being because their waters came from out of the sanctuary and their fruit shall be for food and for their leaves for healing. The river, where the river goes, the life flows. Mm. Father, where the river goes, the life flows. Mm. The life flows in each of these. Each of these, they leap, will not die and will not fade. Where the river goes, mm. they will be fruitful. Yes. Every month. Their supernatural qualities will be that they are in the river from the sanctuary and their fruit will be food the abundance thereof, and their leaves for the healing. Father, I thank you that this double river, this flood that Shane has seen, is the waters from under the sanctuary yeah, where yes. in Isaiah, it says that your skirts of the train fill the temple, Isaiah 6 verses 1 and 2. Yeah. And the water comes out from that place in the sanctuary where your skirts are seen. Father, I decree and declare that based upon Ezekiel 47 and your word that does not return void. Shane prayed earlier, Father, that your word is performed. And so, Father, I attach, I attach onto your word of Ezekiel 47 today, and we decree this over the lives of your beloved. Father, I decree and I attach Isaiah 40, verses 29. I attach your word to this river and to your beloved. You give power to the faint and weary and to those who have no might. You increase their strength and you multiply it, making it abound. Those who have waited, that would be us, Father, upon you, who have looked to you and have hoped in you and have expected you. We shall change and our strength shall be renewed and our power. Yes. We will lift wings and mount up as eagles flying into the sun. We will run and not be weary, and we shall walk and not faint or become tired in any form or fashion. Father, I bring these words of yours. We uphold your word today in the heavens. And we ask that you perform and the fullness of your word come to pass, Father. I make a I'm making a claim upon your word. Yes. If Shane can start with an audacious prayer like that, then <laughs> I am going to make a claim and a withdrawal. Defend your name. Yes. Defend your honor. Yeah. Defend your power. Defend your glory. 
Defend yes. your infinity and defend your eternity. Defend your life. Defend the blood. We raise this standard today as our claim upon. I am making a claim upon you, you Father, with regard to these two scriptures. I am claiming the benefits for our friends. Yes. Like the man who dropped their friend through the roof. And they were desperate to get to Yeshua to his feet. I am the one and we are the one who are literally coming in and coming out and coming to you, to your face, oh Lord God, yeah. maker of heaven and earth, ruler, Lord most high, Jehovah Sabaoth. We make our claim as we come right through the roof and we literally come and make a withdrawal with regard to these two scriptures today father yeah yeah sharamata ishene yana kainda reji atama and lord ezekiel was asked to check the river several times so i'm going to ask for your measurement your measure you are a God without measure. Boundless. Boundless without measure. El Shaddai. And so far, the Ezekiel was there, and it was his ankles, and then his knees, and then his hips, and then he couldn't. And I ask, Father, today, my claim, I make, I'm staking a claim on this word. I am pinning my, I'm pinning your word. Not the ankles, not the knees, not the hips, not the thighs. And Father, right over. Yeah. Cannot stand. In flood. Swept over. I'm staking my claim on your word. Knowing that you will perform your word. Yes, I'm, I'm just hearing I'm going into the depth that you've called me to whatever that depth is for right now and he just kept going in and coming out and going in and coming out and going in and coming out and I was sensing in the spirit that each time it was the proper depth he has something for us to do at every level of the river Lord, let us not think that just because it's up to the ankle that we're not doing what you called us to do. We're going to go in and we're going to come out. And we're going to go in and we're going to come out. We're going to go in and we're going to come out. And we're just going to keep getting wet. We're just going to keep going in and getting wet. I, I, was, I was just sensing a weariness with going in and coming out as, you know, hey, I've already been wet. I've dried off. I'm out of here. And he's like, go back in. So we, so we go back in, God. We go back in. Yes, Leslie, Jesus healed the leper. And he said to go and dip in the Jordan seven times. Mm. It's the same. Yeah. It's going in under the obedience and instructions per to the letter mm -hmm. of the law, the letter. Uh, I don't know who it was that had to go and dip in. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah. That's and he said, why hundred... should I go into that nasty, dirty river? There's clean, pretty rivers in my country. Why should I go into the nasty Jordan? And Father God, we just, we just know that there's going to be times when we go into dirty water. And it's not going to be pretty. And it's not going to be fun. And, and we are going to be able to see when we go under. But we're going to obey and we're going to go in and it doesn't have to make sense to our brain. And like yes. Haley's trip, it won't look like what we thought it was going to look like. It doesn't look anything like what we thought. Doesn't look anything like what we thought, God. 
but we're going to go in anyway by faith. We're going to step in and we're going to obey. Father, I call on the name of I am that I am. Father, you said to Moses, I am that I am. I call on your name tonight for Karen, for Joy, for Shane, for each of these beloved that's before your face. You said you will guide us with your eyes. We are before your eye. We are before your eye tonight. We are standing right looking at the very cornea, the apple of your eye, right there, Father. And Father, I humble my heart and I go low and I call upon your most holy name that covered everything. There was not another word that was required. There was not another term and condition. Nothing attached to it. The I am that I am. Father, we just want your flame of fire on us. We just ask that you burn up everything not of you. and But in that flame, we are rejuvenated. Mm. We want to breathe in the flame of your presence. We want to bathe in your glory. Pour it out over us, Lord. Oh, Lord, perform what we've been teaching, what we've been saying. We have been diligently praying and speaking and declaring, even though we haven't received ourselves. Let the fire fall from heaven, release your glory, let your fire fall on us, O God, release your glory. Send your fire from heaven, release your glory, let your fire fall on us, O Lord. Oh, Lord, my God, you are. Oh, Lord, our God, we yield to you. Release your glory. Send your fire from heaven. Though you walk through the waters, I will be there. You will not drown. Though you walk through the fire, I will be there. You will not burn. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. Oranda de di aranda ye shene he atata ye shuki atana inshandra di aranda ye shene he atana. Shia di apokata pi atama ta ye shene he atana. Let your fire fall, let your winds blow, let your glory come down, come down. I fall, let your winds blow, let your fall come down. Come down, come down, come down, come down, come down, come down, fall on us. Spirit of the 
living God. I just pray that you would um, put us in the cleft of the rock as your glory comes yeah. by. It, uh, I saw, and it's, I don't know if you've seen it, Blaisley, but uh, the Victoria Falls, mm. I think it's the biggest waterfall in the world. It is, and you've sent me pictures. Yeah, and on top of it, um, from the Zambian side, there's, there's a pool at the brim, at the edge. Mm. of the falls and you can actually go there and get in that swimming that little pool um and swim to the edge and look over the edge of the falls oh wow um yeah i would be petrified i think I to do that <laughs> but um you know i mean what if a flood comes through that's your history over you know over skadovas um but it's like that, that immense power. It's like the Lord hides us that yeah. we can, we can partake of the glory, but we're not overwhelmed by it and completely taken out. It's that level. We can't understand the level of the power. Yes. Lord, put us in the pool and protect us. Hide us in the cleft of the rock as your glory comes past. We, we, we just want to taste we can't handle the fullness mm. of what you are even as moses got a glimpse of you from that place yes. we can't we cannot in even in heaven um even if we were in our heavenly bodies handle the fullness or understand the fullness of who you are and the fullness of your power and your glory. So we ask for a place where we can sit safely in the middle of the glory, that as your glory goes over us, like the Victoria Falls, yes. that, we, that we're protected and not yes. swept away and overwhelmed by, by the glory. It's that strong. It's that, it's that, wow. Yes. Oh, Lord. We, we, we're just amazed at you and your glory and your power. Wow. Holy Spirit, the dunamis that carries that power. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I keep hearing that old song, though you walk through the waters, I will be there, and through the flame, you'll not, no way, be drowned, you'll not, no way, be burned, for I am with you, 
fear not, for I am with you, fear not, for I am with you, fear not, for I am with you, says the Lord. I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, child, you are mine. When you walk through the water, I will be there. And through the flame, you'll not, no way, be drowned. You'll not, no way, be burned. For I am with you. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. And in that place I just saw is you you're in the waters, you know, you're you're going under, you're going down, you just hold your breath and and you float to the top. And the Lord reminded me of that dream, that vision that he gave me where um I was at the creek and the water, the still place in the creek and the game warden came and he said come check your test your lung power and the next thing he was in the water and i went okay i was waiting for the earthquake and the tornado to go by anyway i couldn't go home yet and so i went and i got in the water with him and i took a breath and i went under the water it was something that my sister and i always did as children because we were big swimmers big 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 swimmers and we would hold our breath like from one stoplight to the next and see who could hold their breath the longest. So we'd always tested our lung power. We always did this as children, which this was a game we played. So I went under the water and, and was down there and was waiting and waiting and waiting. And it was like, okay, I've got to go up. I've got to get a new breath of air. But before I could get, reach the top, I realized that I had waited too long and I was going to have to take a breath. And when I took a breath and I was still under the water, I could breathe the water. And it was like, well, that's interesting. I can breathe water. So Father, we just thank you for the supernatural empowerment that is going to come in our hour of need, in the moment that we need you, you are there, you are there. You are there, whether we need to float to the top or breathe the water. There is no fear. Just amazement that you can do anything. I, I'm seeing a vision of the a movie I saw of a woman who was persecuted for Christ. And she was in a prison room. She was in a room and the man had sent in the women guards to beat her and she was she was up against the wall and had her arms up and the angels of the lord came between her and the people the women who were beating her and she just uh took the beating but the angels were really the ones that were taking the beating and the women um that were beating her after a time they 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 moved back and the man said keep beating her keep beating her kill her and they just they were like we can't something's protecting her we can't touch her wow that's good oh, so father we thank you that we can trust you we can trust you. The line with that is Job chapter 3, verses 10 and 14. Job chapter 23. But he knows the way that I take. He has concern for it. He appreciates it and he pays attention to it. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as refined gold, pure and luminous. I saw a melting of pure gold into solid gold bars in the, the furnace. I saw a, a very clear 
picture of a melting pot with liquid yellow glorious gold being poured into square sets and he gave me job 23 verses 10 for he knows the way that i take and he has concern for it and appreciates it and he pays attention when he has tried me i shall come forth as refined gold pure and luminous yeah. and verse 14 is the word that fane used several times in the beginning of our time together for he performs that which he has planned for me and many such matters he is mindful of concerning me. He performs that which he has planned for me and many such matters he is mindful of me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, we say yes, yes, Father. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So thank you, Jesus. Based upon Job 23, verses 14, you perform every word you have spoken over the life of Corin, Shane, yeah. Ted, Joy. Tomorrow, every word, Yvonne, every word that you have spoken over and planned for over our lives, everyone that has come from your heart, you will perform it. And Father, so we bring to remembrance, your word says you will bring to remembrance, and we bring to remembrance today, Father. Every word that you have spoken, every intent, every desire of your heart, we lean upon, trust in, and are have assured confidence in every desire of your heart over us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, thank you that you send that word, you send it out and you heal us. You send your word and you heal us. That this is the day of completion. This is the day of finishing. This is the day of the capstone we put on to shouts of grace, grace. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you perform your word, that you do not hold back the completion of your word. Thank you, Father. Every promise, not just for healing, but every promise. Yes. Yes. Amen. And mm. I thank you, Father, that our faith pleases you. And, and our our prayers and our thanks are sweet smelling aroma before you yes, it's gone up as an offering to you praise you lord we thank you that that you equip us for this life on earth that you equip us to um to fulfill our purposes that um even as you've given horses legs to run <laughs> that you that you release our legs to run. Yes. That you equip us with, with what we need to, to do your work that you have given us to do. That we can run our race for you. That while we're on this earth, Lord, we, we fulfill our purpose and we make the impact that you have called us to make. And this is the day that we lift up the banner now. We lift up the banners. We run with the horses tonight. Run with the horses, Father, in the heavens. Run with them. And with our band, lift up our banners before you. Lift high the Lord, Lord our banner. Lift high our Lord, Jesus King. Lift high the Lord, our banner. 
Let I the praise to him sing, for he is marvelous, for he reigns on high, for he is glorious, the Lord reigns on high. Lift high the Lord, our banner. Lift high the Lord, our banner. We lift you high, our banner. We shout aloud. We are your trumpets. We lift you up, King Jesus. We shout to the Lord. We shout to the Lord. We glory in your name. We shout to the Lord. We shout to the Lord. We glory in your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We partner with heaven now yes. with all your horses and we lift up our banners. And we are a mighty army with banners and it strikes absolute fear in the hearts of the enemy today. And we release our arrows into every demon that would hold back your promises now. The arrows of your word that the, and the flaming arrows to burn them. We loose the fire of God onto the demonic realm that opposes our movement forward. I just saw a whole range of, of um, angels releasing arrows into the yeah. enemy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Decimate the enemy now. They stand. Yes. We take back and we push back. It's okay. It's like taking back land and we've got to push it, enforce it. We enforce your victory now. We release your firepower into the enemy's camp now, into their resistance, their front row of resistance. We lose a barrage of fire oh, yeah. from heaven right now. A barrage of fire against their, their stand, that they fall. Yes, God. Blow up the ground under their feet, everything they've stood on to collapse in a heap. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, 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 God. oh but thank you. We take it back. We lay our stake and we move on. We push back again and again and again. We push them back and take back the territory. Release the fire of God and we take back the territory. Release the fire of God and we take back the territory from them. Yes. They have no right to occupy. We evict them. Yes. We evict them out of the church, out of our family, out of our friends. We evict the demonic. They are not welcome. Even out of the hearts of the proud, yes, we God. evict the demons out of them that they would be humble before you. Yes. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. About two months ago, I had an encounter in heaven where I was given a horse and introduced to him. And it took a couple of weeks before God said, you need to name him. And so in another encounter on my lounge floor, I said, Father, I have no idea. And Jesus said, well, I'm going to tell you what his name is. His name is Fleetfoot, Swift, and Swift Wind. Mm. That is his name. Fleetfoot, Fleet of Foot. Swift like the wind, Swift Wind, and Swift. So I went and did a biblical study on whenever the name Swift was used and the word Swift was used. And there are incredibly powerful scriptures relating to the name Swift. <laughs> so, Father, I thank you that these are mysteries. These are mysteries. But we have faith like children We, because it pleases you. So we dive in. And so, Father, I want to ask you for my horse, 
my winged swift horse. And you said to me, Father, he has access to the winds of heaven and he is swift. So, Father, and your word says that you make your decrees and your word and it accomplishes swiftly. Your word goes forth swiftly. And so, Father, I thank you right now that I hear the beating of his hooves on the ground. And, Father, I ask that you said that he is... Um, he is calibrated to the frequency of my voice because it is one heart. It's a heavenly thing. So father, I'm being a child and I'm saying, Lord, I ask today under this assignment that swift be released and go forth to accomplish with the wind of heaven, the wind of heaven, go forth to accomplish the desire of your heart today with all our prayers and our supplications that we have made swiftly on the wind of the wings, the wings of the wind father. Yes. And you said you make your messengers, angels of fire and of wind. Yes. And so father, I thank you that he is, a, he's mighty, yes. super cool and powerful. And yes. Lord, I thank you that our, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's right. And that definitely includes swift. We are partnering with heaven and what you have given us, Father, and I honor every weapon of this era that you have bestowed upon your daughters today to accomplish as we partner with you and partner with things that we have not as yet encountered, Father. And so thank you for the releasing of swift. He is out of the stalls, Father. And heading towards fulfilling the desire of your heart. And bringing destruction and chaos to anything in the lives of your beloved father that has wrought and caused death, father, and limitations. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free, yeah. No more shackles, no more chains. No more bondage, we are free. We are free indeed, we are free. We are those who lose captives from bondage. We are those who set others free. We are those who lose captives from bondage. We are called to set you free. We are called to set you free. We will live our destiny. We will walk, we will run. We will go through the fire, through the flame, through the waters. Oh, we will walk, we will run. We will go through the fire, through the flame. We will run. Set the free, the prisoners will set free. The prisoners, we will set them free. We'll set free the prisoners. We'll set free the prisoners. We will set them free. Yes, thank you. Father. Another thing I saw um, was we took our swords and we put, all put them um, like a circle around a fire. We put them into the fire. We held them in the fire so they're white hot. Thank you. Yeah, Lord, we release our flaming swords on the enemy tonight. Yes. As we stand in unison, Lord, we lift up our swords on fire for you. Okay. Burning deep, deeply purified, and we release those swords that they sing with desire for the enemy. Come on. And release them into into the, the hordes of the enemy to wreak havoc in the enemy. Yes. Father, and even as um, Jonathan and his armor bearer took down an army, 
Yes. Even though there's few of us, Father, we can take down thousands in you. We release the sword of the Lord to go ahead of us and to, to demolish the enemies before our faces. We thank you, Lord, that we could stand together and come into agreement and pray um, and link arms in the spirit and push back on, on the, the onslaught of the enemy. Father, I just bring um, all of us that have been really feeling battered by this onslaught that it's like we're, we're uh, coming up for breath. We can hardly cope with everything. And, and I release now retaliation on every demonic thing that has been um, hindering and causing problems in our lives and wearing us down. I loose destruction on them today. And I say, you get, you're going to be sorry. You're going to be very sorry that you touched <laughs> us. I release flamethrowers at them today yes Lord. that they are wiped out wiped out in the fire of god that they that they run off scuttling back to hell that they leave us alone that they think we're not going to go there anymore because we just get burnt father i thank you for your anointing to start to manifest on your children Yes. more than it even did on Moses that that your children will, will come out literally as the burning ones and they will fly like birds and we will manifest your glory wherever we go even in the shops yes that we will be flames of fire for you wherever we are and, and people will um, come and ask us what is that? Yes. And we are able to, to lead them into your presence and set them free, heal them, heal their emotions in a moment that their whole life changes because they encountered you. You, your glory on your children. We release that today. It's a day of the glory. Yes. That we're going to shake this world like it's never been shaken before. Shake, shake, shake with the presence of God. The people will run to the Christians for help. Jesus. That they'll see your power and they think, okay, that's real. Yes. And everything else is, is temporary and will pass away. Thank you, Lord, that we're stepping into a new day in you, a new day. When you talk, day spoke about this, the sword. Sorry. Pray, mm. Haley. Okay, sorry. With regard to the swords and the fire, and before you shared that, you gave me two um, sayings which relates to the swords and the fire. The first thing is, there's a common English saying that says, you've got many irons in the fire. And the Holy yes. Spirit says, you are absolutely right. You girls have many irons in the fire, not just one sword. On. There are many irons in the fire. That's the first thing. And based wow. upon the many irons, an iron is the sword, but we have many and we have different types and we are going to use them in a different, more strategic way. And he's going to teach us because he trains our hands for battle and our fingers for war. He steward us on how to do this. But yes, we have many irons in the fire and some we have not wielded as yet. And they're not necessarily swords. Some are slightly different. And also part of that, it says, when you have many irons in the fire, the father says, then you must strike while the iron is hot. <laughs> when you have many irons in the fire, strike while the iron is hot. And then in terms of the glory being manifested, you've got Psalm 84, which he gave me now, verses 11. And it goes like this. This is, uh, this is just, it's the word of God. I mean, it's the word out of heaven, you know. It's the word out of heaven, unadulterated, powerful, the word of God, sharper than a two-edged sword. Thank you, Father. There's an iron. There's one of our irons. The word of God, sharper than a two-edged sword. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows grace and favor and glory, Shane. Yeah. Glory. 
No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Father, I say this again, Father, in the witnesses, in the company of witnesses today. Psalm 84, 11, this is the iron in the fire. This is the word of God that is a double-edged sword, separating, severing. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows grace. There's your great grace and favor and glory. Honor, splendor, and heavenly bliss. How's that for an amplified classic? No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. And we are those today, Father, who walk uprightly. We choose and have chosen to set our gaze upon you and you alone. We don't waver. We don't look away. Your eye is on our eye. Mm. And our gaze is upon you. And all else fades in your glory. We are those who walk uprightly. We are the company of those who walk all. Karen, Yvonne, Ted, Joy, Shane, all those. We are all those who walk uprightly before you. No good thing will you withhold from us. That's right. And Father, today I repent in the courts for, for any heart whisper that we may have raised in our hearts to believe that you're holding out on us. Yes, Father. Father, at any time when the going got really tough and when the, the infirmity started to bite and a little tiny whisper in our heart of heart, in our soul somewhere said, man, I think he's holding out on me. Why is he holding out on me? Father, I repent. Yes, Jesus. I repent. I repent right now on my knees before you where I have thought that you're holding out on me. Yes. Because you cannot and you will not because you say no good thing will you withhold. Right. You are not holding out. And I repent on behalf of each one of us where we've had that thought that has been yeah. noted by the enemy and said, you see what they think of you. You think mm -hmm. they think you. this, Father, I repent. Mm -hmm. And I ask that the blood cover that accusation in the courts today. And I raise up this standard that no good thing will you withhold. <laughs> that, one. That, one. Yeah, that one, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Not one good thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon. I'm gonna give you an example. He's just reminded me. Okay. I've been on a detox and green soup cleansing. So I can witness now. You know, can you get a witness? I'm going to witness quick as a prayer. I'm going to witness in the courts. There you go. As ridiculous as this may appear. I've been on a green detox soup eating plan for four weeks. Okay. And I've refrained from any sugars, any snacks, nothing. It's just something I felt to do, right? To cleanse my system. And this afternoon, I was reading Isaiah chapter 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and I had the sudden thought, man, wouldn't a little smarty be so nice? A smarty is a candy-coated button of chocolate. Man, and I just had the sudden wow. I haven't touched that stuff for four weeks. I had a knock at my door, and I will send you all photos of it. And my next-door neighbor, their company is giving out to their top clients boxes of smarties. Oh, and no. her little son, Levi, arrived at the door at four o'clock this afternoon with a box of Smarties in his hand and said, Auntie Haley, mommy said you would like this. Ten minutes after the That's thought had crossed my mind. Does it mean I can't afford Smarties? No. Does it mean that it's like <laughs> I'm so obsessed with my diet I can't have it? No. I was reading Isaiah and marveling at the word. And I thought, gee, you know what? A chocolate would be great. And 10 minutes later, and I will send you a picture of the boxes. Three boxes in a box. Okay. Let me tell you this. It is relating to right now. 
No good thing will he withhold, even if it is a box of Smarties. Father, I want to testify today in the courts that you are so wrapped up and concerned and involved in the detail of our lives that even a smarty to Haley would be something that delights your heart and mind. No good thing, my Lord. No good thing will you withhold from us. Right. Yes, Lord, from those who walk up right. Praise you. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Wow. That's amazing. Crazy good. That's what I'm hearing. It's crazy good. Above and beyond all we can ask, imagine, or even think. He goes way, way above. Way, way beyond. Mm. Anything, yes. everything we can imagine or think. Mm. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, I know that the scripture, wow, I'm just, sorry guys, I'm just, I'm just stuck on the word. It's just the word. It's the word. Um, Luke 6, 38. Lord, I know that this portion of scripture is specifically relating to giving and receiving, but I would like to emphasize this point of the scripture. Father, I would like, I would like to stand on with my sisters and my brothers tonight, and I would like to express this scripture as a scripture for performance performing and father based upon your goodness and will be given to you good measure father woo, press down shaken together and running over they will pour into the bosom of your robe and a bag. Father, I thank you today for the health, healing, total restoration, complete turnaround, flip the switch, script, change the script, flip the tune to the point of press down, good measure, shaken together, running over, pouring over into our bosom. Hallelujah, Jesus. Shakaba. Right. Arianda ke ara wala ke ndi shiba akhan ditira o rumbo ya shiki landa ba arende ke abo oro ya sha no good thing ba rende ke ashitira above and beyond turning two loaves and five fishes into meal for thousands of 20, is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything? I, yeah. I saw um, like a dial on a car, like a speedo a speedometer or a rev counter. And then I saw a billboard that said relax um, and go. I think there was another word, but I uncatch it and it but it was like go for it you know mm -hmm. just get in and go press that speedo and go and take off time for take off father i thank you for your words lord that we we speaking out and that you're com communicating to us and saying it's time to release it's time to go and even as an arrow is released out from the bow, you're releasing us out now. And it's not under stress. It's under, just under your arm, under your protection and in your peace. 
And uh, mm. I just got the feeling that car was a real performance vehicle. That the Lord's releasing interesting work for us. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Utterly awesome. Even as a vehicle is a um, high performance vehicle. They're there for the pure enjoyment of the power of the vehicle. Yes. And the beauty of the lines of the vehicle and the the way it handles. And I feel that that's very much what God's going to do. The power, the beauty, the the way we um, work with him. And it's not our power, it's his power. Yeah. Uh, it's not our vehicle, it's his. And we just get to drive while with the Holy Spirit. Thank you. I confirm, I confirm that word. I watched the preview of Back to the Future this afternoon after what reading Isaiah. And Back to the Future is a movie based upon Back to the Future, not the first one, number three. It's the third one that was released. It's on Netflix. And I just watched the preview. I just caught my eye because Back to the Future was something the Lord spoke to me about over many years. But the most important part of Back to the Future is not Michael J. Fox or anything else. It is the car that is used. It's a DeLorean. Yes. And it is a highly specialized car. It actually does exist in the natural. And when Back to the Future was first made years and years ago, the DeLorean was used. And DeLorean is an actual private Small company, handmade Rolls Royce, super expensive, high performance sports car, the DeLorean. Yeah. Now, in the Back to the Future, the DeLorean is the only car and it's equipped with dials to allow it to go into the future and come back. It's wow. a, a, a car that, that um, they cross the, 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 the sand and the speed barrier. And poof, and bam, and there the car is in. And they've got a dial where they can physically set the day, date they can go to in the future. Back oh. to the future with DeLorean. Yeah, they choose their date and off they go. The back to the now the DeLorean was they only there's only a couple that were ever made. They're highly selective, very expensive. You cannot get your hands on one. They are when they were made, you get the point. They were like the Ferrari of Ferraris. Yeah. Um and the man's name was DeLorean, who designed it. Very, And it was way ahead of its time in terms of its design, its features, its engine capacity, its handling. It was out of the... Oh, let me just say it. Yes, Lord, I'm sorry. It was out of the... <laughs> sorry. It, was, <laughs> it was out of this world. <laughs> sorry. So, Father, I thank you. In line with Shane's um, vision... We are being given DeLoreans and we are actually have the all access pass to literally travel with you at the speed of sound, the speed of light beyond and farther and actually to blaze a trail. And literally I feel this and wow, it's just, okay. Father, I thank you that you invite us into your mystery to receive wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding of the, what would, we would think the future and to bring it back here. So accessing heaven, accessing your mysteries, accessing your storehouses, accessing your treasure rooms, accessing your realms, accessing your heart, accessing your breath, being sucked up into your nostrils. Yes, being sucked up into your nostrils, literally, as we stand gazing face to face, eyeball to eyeball, cheek to cheek. Yes, yes. Getting your wisdom, having access to eye not seen, ear not heard, mind not conceived or even understood. Father, in our DeLoreans, our spiritual DeLoreans now, Father, and it fits like a glove. The seats are leather and they fit like a glove. The Father says it's going to fit like a glove. It's not going to be uncomfortable. It will fit you like a glove. You can sink into those seats and it's molded and shaped and the ride is okay and it's really good. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. So, so now I'm seeing is firstly there was like a combination between Spock, Superman, and Batman. 
about to launch off a very high diving platform. And then as you were at the end, I saw now like a, a fan. It had three, three pieces, um, three like wings. A lot, now I know the BMW, I can't even think what it looks like, or the Mercedes emblem. It's got, no, it's, I don't know which one. I think it's the Mercedes, it's got the three. But it's like that, but it's like a fan. It's starting to turn. Mm. It's starting to turn and really spin. And it's it's speaking of, again, of of a um, a high performance thing. And, and the combination of those, the ability to fly the way Spock, I don't know, Spock brings to it. And Batman, <laughs> I was laughing. But it's like the Lord saying it's launch time. It's launch time. Come on. It's launch time. And no wonder there's been such a fight going on. It's launch time. Thank you, Lord. You're releasing. You're releasing your dread warriors. Your dread, what's the word? Um, oh, those. Champions? Champions? No? Yeah, thank you. Your dread champions. It's the time of the dread champions to be released. And, and they they they're gonna fly and they're gonna they're gonna be they're not gonna be able to be defined and they're gonna put absolute fear into enemy, the dread champions. And and the demons are not gonna know what to do. Yes. I thank you, Father. Your dread champions are taking off off the high. The high places, they are launching. You are launching. You are launching them. And they are going to go like high performance vehicles. And nothing is going to stop them. Nothing is going to stop your dread champions. Wow. Oh, shene makia na sundu. Hoba banda ba shendi besendi. It's like that, that, it's that fan, it's like it's actually in them and it propels them, is that they're like living rockets. Come on. Um, they just rocket off and, yeah, it's just dust behind. They just take off with this rocket express. Mm. And nothing is going to stop what God's going to do now. Nothing. See, it's a release of the dread champions on the earth. They'll walk in fire. You won't even see their faces because the fire will be over them. They're, and they, they have to be close to the Lord, otherwise they lose their fire. Thank you, Lord. I love it. Praise you, Lord. That's not a gift. This is actually earned through, um, th through overcoming. And we just yield to your Holy Spirit because you're the one that does it. You're the fire. You're, yeah. you're the wind beneath our wings. You, you're the one that lifts us up. That we can't fly without you. We can't do it without you. It's a combination. You are the vehicle. You are the power. You are the car. You are the rocket fuel. You, it's you, Holy Spirit. You that are going to take us. <laughs> yeah, I just heard him laughing. <laughs> Just laughing. Fly, He's so excited. Fly, fly away. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make Mary Poppins look like um like it looks. <laughs> yes. You're gonna be flashing around like the flash. <laughs> Oh, the Holy Spirit laughing. He thinks it's great fun. <laughs> oh, it's going to be funny. The reason why it's the powers Hello. of the age to come. Yep. Sorry, Yvonne. Yes. I don't think they can hear me. I can hear you, Yvonne. We can hear you. Talk. Bonnie. Oh, I, I thought maybe there was something wrong. But no, I was just saying it's the powers of the age to come. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The powers of the age to come. 
Yeah. Uh, no, I just was, I was going back in my mind. Can you still hear me? Yes. Yes. You can't hear me. Okay. We can. Don't worry. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. No, you can't. Okay. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Oh, we can hear you, Yvonne. It's probably a delay. Yeah, we can hear you. I'm unmuted. I don't think you can hear me. It's okay. Interesting. You can. Yes. It's a big delay. Okay. Um, I was just being taken back to the days when when I saw we just saw lots of miracles. I was just making it. It's very strange. Yeah, I feel like like something something is skewed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, the days. Okay, all right. We leave it. We leave it then. We leave it. It's not. It's not important. I was just going back in time and and going forward in time. Come on, you keep talking. Yeah, It'll catch up with you eventually, and you just keep talking. Keep sharing, Yvonne. I'm getting delayed. No, no, it, it's it's awkward. I'm hearing you with delay too. That's all right. You just talk. That's why we're yeah, waiting. Don't worry. We're waiting to hear what you have to say. No, I'm, I was just musing, you know, going back in my mind to the days when, um, uh, you know, it says signs follow the preaching of the word. There was so much so much preaching on healing that you had absolutely no doubt when I'm, I am I am talking <laughs> I am talking but it's it's just such a strange delay yeah anyway maybe it will come through um yeah we were we when we were about school at Rama, um, we would have prayer requests every day the students and uh, and then like almost the next day or within within a week usually we would hear all the reports back of the miracles that happened. I mean there was just so many healings um, answers to prayers you had no doubt because the preaching of the word was con constant you know that to me is is like the former the former rain, but now we're going to get the former and the latter rain together, and the powers of the age to come. So enjoy your vehicle. Amen. Amen. Praise oh, God. It's very strange this delay. I feel like the, <laughs> the delay is funny. <laughs> Listen, Vodacom is really bad at the moment. Yvonne. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's on Vodacom. It's it's a disgusting. Um, it's a it's very bad. Everyone in this area is complaining about it. Or we could be really childlike and absolutely ludicrous and say that's because we're speaking from the future into the present. Come on, sister, tell it. Tell it. Or you could be really ridiculous and say the reason why there's a delay is because we're out of this world and we're agreeing with the Father and we're prophesying and decreeing in the heavenly realms and we're going into the future and we're actually bringing what God wants and there is a delay. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to be like that. And the reason why you have a fan on your car, Shane, why it is a three prong fan, which is what you're seeing, is I heard the Holy Spirit saying the reason for that is that so that you can fan the flames. Come on. <laughs> the reason for the fan is that as you are a light and as you are burning with the glory and the power and the magnificence of Christ in you and God's presence over you, the fan behind you is important because it will fan the flames and it will be infectious. 
and the wind will catch it. That's why it is going to fan the flames of what is on you and who is in you. And that will fan the flame. That's why you have a fan. That's very funny. You've got a great sense of humor lately, it appears. Okay. But the, there you go. The three, the three parts, the trinity. Yes, I thought, yes, I had that little, little proviso on the end there. You're absolutely right. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Man. <laughs> oh, and backing you. So if it's behind you, they're backing you. They've got your back. Yeah. yeah. They're backing yeah. you. You're backed by the Trinity. I, I'm not being unholy. I'm, I'm just, we, we, we know there is an honor and a holiness. Um, and, but he's, he's got your back and you're backed by the Trinity. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, that's awesome. Your God's been good. So it's amazing. Amen. Uh, oh, is there anything else? Are we going to end up now? I think sounds great. It's been quite a long session. Look. Anything else? Hey, oh, good. Let's do it. Yvonne has written chat, chat, chat. So I'm going to read what she's written. It's all dead. I can't hear. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, I'll have to leave now. Regret. Love y'all. <laughs> oh, shame, man. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, nothing from our side, Shana. Um, we just, we just get us. caught up. Yeah, we just get caught up, man. Yeah, we just get good. caught up. I love being caught up. I love being caught up. Um, Thanks, yeah. guys. Sure. Yeah, do you want to... Um, no, let Leslie close. Leslie, do you want to wanna, wanna seal the deal, I, honey? I, seal the deal. Seal the deal. Abba God, thank you for speaking for taking us to the future, to infinity and beyond. Thank you for taking us to the depths. Thank you for taking us to, to the fire. Thank you for put, take, we are brands plucked from the fire, God. We will stay close to your flame so that we will stay burning hot. Praise you, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Praise. We will fear not. We will fear not for you are with us. We bless you, Abba God. Thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you have done in us and all that you're going to continue to do in and through us, your children. We look to you with our little eyes uplifted with joy and excitement. Pick me up, pick me up. And you throw us up over your head. I'm just seeing the father delighting in us as children and picking us up and swinging us around and throwing us up in the air. We just praise you and give you thanks, oh God. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Thanks, girls. Appreciate your time. Thank you, everybody. Have a fantastic remaining week. Uh, just keep me in your prayers. I've got a job interview tomorrow. And then okay. I've been approached by another company this afternoon. Um, it's, it's thick and fast and fast and furious. <laughs> I love it. Fast and the furious without Vin Diesel. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was approached again this afternoon by a company at four o'clock. So also a steel company wow. in Midrand, an international one for their offices. Yeah, it's fast and thick and fast. So it's, please just hold me in your prayers just for wisdom. Hey, um, Shane, yeah. I love one more thing, Shane, what you shared with me a couple of days ago is stuck in my spirit because it, it, it really was. It, it was a very true and very pure word of the Lord. And that was uh, Elijah in the cave when there was a lightning and there was thunder and a storm and God wasn't in there and there was a soft, still voice. And he literally said to me, you will know when you know, because you will hear my voice, but it's a soft, wow. still voice, but you will know when you know, there will be no if, but maybe no confusion, no okay. multiple choices. You will know. But up until now, you've heard the lightning, the storm, and the wind, and I was in none of that. But you will know. So there you wow. go, guys. So love you all, eh? Love you. Mwah. You're awesome. Bye. Love you. Okay, bye, bye. girls. Bye. bye. bye.